Hi, my name's Alyssa Davis. Um, I am a part owner as well as the social media manager for uh, Hidden Assembly, a people's theater company. Um, my background, I have a degree in mass communications with a minor in theater from Adams State University, which is where I met most of the other company members. I did a lot of theater in high school. I've been acting and performing, singing for as long as I can remember. In college, I did a lot of filmmaking, uh, script writing, so I have a great perspective of both behind the scenes as well as being on stage and in front of the cameras. In terms of which of Hidden Assembly's values speak to me the most, I would have to say honesty and vulnerability. As someone who, the reason I got into writing and into theater and into this, you know, field of artistic expression was from having all of this anger and sadness and all these negative emotions bottled up for so long. And then writing was actually initially how I found an outlet uh, for those feelings. And, you know, my, I remember my, my seventh grade English teacher, she told me, she was like, look, you know, this is great and keep, stick with it. Take those feelings and, and put it to paper and really dig deep and give me more of those emotions. So I did, you know, it eventually ended up, my parents were minorly worried about me because um, a lot of my writing was kind of dark and sad, but it was because I was just, I was taking a lot of those feelings that I hadn't expressed ever. And I was putting them on paper and, you know, people were understanding how I was feeling. You know, that was the first time I think I felt vulnerable, really, was when I, I you know, I let people read my work. I've always believed that theater and writing and filmmaking is about honesty. Um, it's about um, being honest about your perspective and opening up to people about how you feel about something. Uh, so for me, um, honesty and vulnerability are the two key parts of, of theater and of entertainment. Um, you know, people win Oscars and Tonys and Emmys for their honest performances. You know, those are the people that we gravitate towards. Um, I remember I watched Perks of Being a Wallflower after reading the book, and I remember watching Logan Lerman and being like, God, this is, it's accurate and it's true and it's honest and it's real. And that was why his performance stuck with me. And I'll never forget watching that performance because personally, I think he was snubbed for an Oscar for that performance, but it was something that you felt what they were feeling. And that's what I always try to do with my writing, with my acting, with any type of theater, is I try to make people feel what I feel in that moment. And so that's definitely the two core values that stick out to me the most and matter very much, possibly the most to me. In terms of what made me want to be a part of Hidden Assembly, um, a big part of that has to do with the people. The people involved in it are some of my closest friends, people I met in college. At first they were all like really secretive about it, which is totally fine. I mean, I wasn't necessarily originally involved um, until I came on as their social media manager. You know, I was happy to do that because any creative outlet for me, uh, I was more than happy to take. So my friends gave me this opportunity and I was like, sign me up, let's do it. Um, and eventually an opportunity came up for me to become a part owner and I snatched up as fast as I could. Um, I was like, yes, let me be a part of this. <laughs> um, you know, but also just like reading about like their their core values and their mission statement, you know, they were creating a, a safe space for for them and for their narrative and you know that really resonated with me uh, because when there's not a space for you you create a space for yourself and that is what hid assembly is about you know it's about inclusivity and visibility and honesty and those are all things that i think are super important and key elements of theater uh, you know we're really putting that out there. That's what we're aiming for. Focus on those core values and inclusivity, especially, and making sure that people who want to be a part of theater want to be a part of theater. So the people definitely spoke to me. That's the short answer. <laughs> um, the long answer being the core values, the people, the creative outlet, all of it speaks to me. And so I'm really psyched to be working with all of them. What would I like to take away from this experience? Um, I mean, experience in general is something that I am just excited to have again. Being creative, when you're a creative person, and that's a big part of your life for so long, when that's something that's not an everyday thing anymore, you feel like a piece of yourself is missing. 
the experience in general is definitely something that I look forward to taking away from this. Um, because, I mean, I get to work with creative and wonderful and intelligent people and also be able to use my talents, hopefully, um, <laughs> or what I consider talents, <laughs> with these people who I trust very much so, um, especially creatively. And so, you know, just getting that hands-on experience again, uh, you know, I love writing and I love acting and I love directing and I get to do all of that. You know, we're, we're creating we're molding things from the ground up. We're creating things from scratch. And I love that. You know, I, I love making things from the very beginning and seeing them through all the way to the end. So experience is definitely the big one. I also would like to just take away, or what I hope to take away and show other people um, is, you know, how important theater is, because I think a lot of people don't don't think about that. A lot of people who aren't involved in it don't think about it. But people who have done it are like, this is so important. You know, it's key to people's happiness for a lot of kids, especially. And so, you know, I hope to be able to get people involved and get people to, you know, guest actors and future company members involved, you know, giving people a safe space because theater to me has always been a safe space. And that's what I want to create for other people. You know, as a part owner, obviously I'm not leaving anytime soon, especially since we're so new, but if someday I do leave, I hope what I'm leaving behind is a legacy of people feeling like their voices have been heard um, and that this is a platform for them to speak and be themselves and create things to express themselves in, in healthy and intelligent ways. So I just hope to to take away the experience, but also to give that experience back. What I hope to show to my family, my friends, to the world, I always go back to um, the first time my dad saw a professional show, or the first time I can remember him seeing a professional show. He took me to see Jersey Boys at the Denver Center for the, for the Performing Arts. Um, and it was amazing. It's, it's a beautiful show. If you've never seen it, if you can go see it after COVID and everything. During intermission, my dad looks at me and he goes, wow, like there's, there's a lot of moving parts to this, like a lot of pieces of this, aren't there? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> um, that's why I've been doing it for so long. And I could hear the awe in his voice. And in that moment, I you know, I was probably, I was like 22, 23, I think. And my dad's a wonderful dad. You know, he's, he's very scholarly. He's very, uh, he, his kids turned out very artsy. <laughs> he's not super artsy. He's very creative. Um, but you know, he's, you know, he speaks fluent Japanese. He's fluent in Latin, but he never had a desire to be on stage in any capacity. But in that moment with my dad, I don't think I'd ever felt so understood by him as I did in that moment. After that, my dad, my dad was obsessed with going to shows. <laughs> um, we saw Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Um, he saw a bunch of shows with my mom because they ended up getting season passes. So I guess like what I hope to show the world is exactly what my dad saw that night. You know, is is how important theater is and how big it is, even when it seems small. Even when you go to like those small little indie production or play festivals, how much time and effort and and work went into that because i think unless you've been a part of that you don't understand how many moving parts there are you know and i i remember going to you know to high school and feeling like why you know my my teacher my theater teacher uh actually she got um she was getting let go but they kind of forced her into it by like she lost her classroom she got forced to share like the the planetarium with the astronomy class theater was like on its way out at my high school essentially and i was so mad because i found a home in theater and i found a purpose and i found a place and i found my people in theater i was a very dramatic and and loud and difficult kid and theater taught me how to be in someone else's shoes. You know, it, it really taught me something about empathy and sympathy and creativity. And I was so scared for the people who came after me that they might not be able to see the wonders of theater. Obviously, it, it didn't leave the school completely, um, but it was much smaller. It, was, it wasn't as big. And that made me so sad. 
um, because theater theater is accepting of everybody you know every race shape size uh, you know age there's something for every aspect in theater um, for every individual and so I think a lot of times people don't appreciate it as much as I feel like they should. That's just, that's the short version of it. You know, with COVID going on, people are like, oh, I miss theater. Oh, I miss, you know, this sort of entertainment. And, but when it's there, they don't appreciate it. You know, they, they, they don't think about how many people right now are unemployed with COVID. You know, how many people in the entertainment industry are unemployed. Sports went right back to normal, but theater, everyone's still unemployed. So with Hidden Assembly, we're giving people a platform, you know, we're giving actors and ourselves a platform to be like, hey, there's a way that we can still do this, even if the world were shut down again, God forbid, knock on wood, there's a way for us to be creative and to show the world that this is something that they need to appreciate and love and understand just as, or I hope they will just as much as we do, you know, because people who act and do theater, they put their heart and soul into it. That's what I hope translates and what I hope people can take away from this and what I hope I'm showing to people across the world is theater is so important and why it's so important to me and to so many other people. I guess I just hope that people can love it as much as I do.